Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Chris. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today's video is going to be products like I have a new palette by Wicked Sisters, which is what I use, and then I have different new products and some that I went and got from there, uh, but they're all products that I haven't used before so they're new to me it might give you a little bit of the nostalgia because some of them they're not new let's just put it that way new to me not new um, okay so we're starting out with I have a new uh, primer that I tried today it is called, oh boy, it's by the Beauty Crop, and it's Melon Jelly Dewy Primer XXL. This is it. Um, it Well, one thing I can tell you that it does is it makes your face super soft after it dries down. Um, so, I don't know so much about um, covering your your pores uh, because I could you know still see some so what I would do if I was going to use this again I would probably use a primer a different primer here on my nose and then use this on the rest of my face so it's not bad okay no oh, I forgot to tell you I used Urban Decay Rebound before I did anything, and I'm not sure if it helped me or not, but I had a really easy time, like, putting everything on, so I'm thinking that it did. Anyway, we have that. So, next, uh, foundation. I did not have a new foundation, so I used L'Oreal Infallible in... 410 so anyway that one is just the one of the best um, okay then next for powder didn't have a powder either there's just a few things that I didn't have um, for setting my you know doing my face I used Urban Decay translucent all-nighter powder this is it it's a good really good powder and then next for bronzer okay i used two because i tried out and what did i do oh here it is i tried out wet and wild bronzer color con and there's it doesn't say if it's fair or what it is but this is it right here and um I put it on, uh, it was a little bit light for me, so even though there was nothing wrong with it, it's a, you know, it worked well, so I went to, this was something I've had for a while and I've never used, it's a Rimmel, um, you know, it's got the highlighter, bronzer, and blush, well I used this bronzer right here, and um, I liked it. It came out well. I put it just right on top of the other and everything worked out. So, this is good. I, I mean, th this is an old thing and so is the other bronzer. But I had never opened them. I had, I, so, I just, okay, let's see if they're still good, which they were. And that's what I used. Okay, then the next thing that I did was blush. And I also used two blushes, you know, one kind of right here and the next one sort of right here and blended in. This is Milani. This was the first one I put down. And guys, this is gorgeous. However, it was a little bit of the wrong color for what I knew I was going to do for my eye look. So I went ahead and, uh, what are we, where are we going? Oh, I'm so organized. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Sorry, Manny. Okay. I went ahead and used... Where in the heck? 
I ended up spilling everything on the floor. I had everything organized, but it ended up not being... I, I guess it was this one in uh, this, the, the Rimmel, um, because I can't, I can't think of uh, anything else. So it, it's this one here in the Rimmel, and that was mixed in with this one here, which I absolutely loved. So this one will be sitting front and center here, on my, in, in, on, wherever, my desk. So... That one's really good, guys. I don't even know if it's still available, but if you can get your hands on it, it, it would go with more of a lighter look. Okay, the next thing I did was uh, highlighter. <laughs> and again, I used two of them. I have, uh, I don't need to show you the packaging, Dose of Colors, which I can't believe I haven't used these. They've, they've been sitting in my beauty room that's not done yet. And uh, let me show you what they look like. Okay. This is the first one that I put down. It is called Melonade. And uh, it was a little bit too dark for me. So, because I'm not normally, I don't use the darker highlighters. This is the one that I ended up using, and it is Dream On. Very, very nice. I just uh, put them directly over each other. Worked out fine. Now, at this point, I forgot that I did not conceal my eyes. So, didn't have a concealer. Let me see if I can find it. It is uh, Catrice, the 24-hour camouflage, and, uh, oh, here it is. Yeah, it, like I said, everything f fell. Um, here it is. This is uh, it right here. Um, and, uh, as always, I mean, this, this is awesome. And to set my under eye, I used... What did I use? I think I, I believe that I used uh, Seal the Gel by Lawless, which is also an awesome setting powder. But this is what I used under my eyes. Okay, next. That would be my eyebrows. And guys, this is the thing that I would never recommend. I hate it. It's horrible. I used, I didn't have anything, but I did have an Araceli brown gel liner that I had never used. So I used that. Don't, just don't, don't try it, don't do it. It's horrible. Um, I, and then I also set it with the NYX set, uh, gel uh, setting for her brows. This, this is awesome. It's really, really good. And it's drugstore, so it's not that expensive. That, uh, if I could have, like, put, not tape, but something over my eyebrows, I would have. But it's too late. I had done them already, and I was well into the video, or getting everything done. So after that, I went to... The bronzing for my waterline from Deck of Scarlet, which is a name I haven't said in a very long time. And it is, let me see which one I used. Oh boy. I believe I used Goddess, which is a, yeah I did. It's a bronze. Uh, um, I, Deck of Scarlet is around. I have no idea of the pricing. I haven't purchased from them in a long time. And I haven't, I haven't gotten anything from them in a long time. So I'm, I'm not really sure. You know, I know they've expanded. They're a lot bigger. But, uh, yeah. Okay. After that, for my mascara, this is my ride or die. 
It is by Gwen Stefani. It is uh, Can't Stop Staring Mascara. You guys, I know it's, I think it's about $26. If you haven't tried it, I don't know. I know that's expensive, but this stuff, oh my gosh. And I don't know if you've ever seen the wand on it. Maybe I've even showed you. But this is what it looks like. It's got this kind of strange little ball in the end. But once you start doing your eye, you re your eyes, you realize what it's for. It really works. Uh, this is my favorite. I Once I get down, I will repurchase it. Okay, finally. No, not finally. On my lips. For the lip liner, I have used... Okay, this one is missing too. <laughs> Come on, man. Let me look in here. Um, okay. We will do, oh, here it is, right in front of my face. By Queen. This is my lip liner, and it is in spray tan. And it's a, it's the kind I like. It's got the soft ending. And then, Finally, uh, or again, we have uh, color plop. Color plop. We have color plop. Color plop. Color pop, and it is in flying horses. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, it's super super nice. Okay. Finally. Now I can finally say that. Finally. This is the Wicked Sisters 237. I I love Wicked Sisters. And when I was looking around, I'm like, what's that? And I couldn't believe that I had never done it. And um, this is what it looks like. The only one that I, I don't care about is this one right here. I never go for these kind of things because... To me, they just get in your eyes and mess everything up. So, um, this is the look. I, I really like it. Um, I would say the brow thing, uh-uh. Um, I normally don't use two of a lot of things. So, I would say the, fir the first choice of colors, I wouldn't use, probably won't use that again. However, the second one, which is, uh, I can't even remember what it's called. Uh, is it Melanade? Yeah, Melanade. I, that one I will use. It's, it's very nice. Um... I, let's see, I don't think there's anything else that I used that I didn't like, other than the thing I used for my brows and the one dose of colors that's just not, not me. Uh, if I want to say my favorites out of everything that I used, I would say the palette Wicked Sisters 237 and I, can, I can't choose between the two. And the Milani blush. It's beautiful. It, it, it's called Coral Cove 05. I don't know if I told you, but yeah, it's, it's just gorgeous. Okay, guys, that is the video for today. I can't believe that I was semi-normal today. Thank you to all the new subscribers that I have and all of my regular subscribers. You guys rock. Everybody rocks. So, wherever you are, I hope you are well. Take care. Have some fun, but not too much fun. And uh, stay safe. Watch your surroundings. You guys know. And I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.